Hello everyone, and welcome back to Alishovin here for episode 11. Rain has just stopped, so we took the opportunity to grab the sunflower. And now we're going to take it to our new grain mill where we can make some sunflower oil. So I think we tip into here, I think. Go. We'll just go and back this up. But yeah, so plan for today. We need to get the rolling done. Well, first of all, we need to actually get this aligned up. Wait a minute, do you have to open the cover? Yeah, that, that will probably help us. <laughs> there we go. So sunflower is going in. And if we have a look here, see... Oh, we got a bit of a problem. That's only going to store 27,000 litres at a time. And we've got like 60,000 litres. Well, it makes sense, it is a small grain mill in that, so... But in terms of production, we'll make 3,600 litres of sunflower oil a month. We'll be using 7,200 litres a month of sunflower itself, so... All in all, we got enough for about, yeah, eight months or so. I did not expect that, so... Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll take this back to the farm, we'll put this back into storage and that, and then we'll get the roller out from the shop. Because we need to roll our sugar beet field, so we'll try and get the fertilizing done tomorrow, perhaps. And I'll keep the roller as well, I'll keep it leased out for tomorrow, I don't want to pay the daily charge on that. Then we'll go and plant the corn for our maize crop. That's going to be our chaff in that. I'll use that to make some delicious silage, I think. But yeah, so... Going to be a bit of a work, a bit of a work fest in... A bit of an intense round packed episode. So this cargo pass, put our beacons on. But yeah, first of all, before we do any of that, I'm going to show you what we spend the money on in that episode that I did not show you. Perhaps it'll be the thumbnail in the video, but let's just say we've had an excellent idea. <laughs> Yeah, let's go and see what we've been doing here. And here we are. Money's gone down. We've bought a buckload of chicken food. We had 25,000 litres in storage already. And we've bought another 25,000... Yeah, 25,000 litres worth. So that was five packs for five grand. And that's because we've expanded our chickens. We had one pen over there. We've got a second one here. We've got a third one here. And we've got a fourth one over there. Now over there we had an issue with the honey pot spawning. So what I've done is I've moved the honey spawning over here. Doesn't matter where the spawn point is. And we put some big old lights in around the farm just to line up the yard a bit. It does look a bit... I don't know what's the word. Not garshly, um. But yeah, it looks a bit odd in that, but I think it's going to be worth it. Let's see, do we cover this? That's the thing. Should we cover it? Yeah, not too sure. Let's we'll see what tomorrow brings in that. However, what we need to do now is go and feed our new chickens. We bought 360 chickens each so that is 1020 chickens we have bought hence why most have gone down quite substantially now let's just try to get this into the feeding area the thing about having a swivel axle trail I don't like is it, just this so potentially what we could get is a smaller trailer so I think that holds like 9,000, like, like 9, 10, 15-ish thousand litres. 
we have a look here. Something like this, perhaps like 12,000 litres. How much is that? 36 grand, pick it out for 17 and a half grand. See if there's any other options. Just having a little look. See, 30 grand for 23,000 litres. That ain't too bad. We could look at getting a liquid transport at some point. That can do all of it. That can transport our oils as well. 79 grand though. I do want the bigger one if we went down that particular route. Let's have a look at any other traders. Yeah, Trans 70. That'd be good as well. It's not small, it is quite. Yeah, that one's going to be a bit of a struggle to pull if we fit it up in that, so you would have to be cautious about that. But I think it opens a couple of options for us down the road. We've got three grand. I have been a bit busy chopping a couple of trees down around here. You are just going to chop you down just so we can move you out of the way. So yeah, this should cut like one big oak tree and a few other little, little ones like oops, this shack bark hickory and all that. So actually, I do want to get like, more trees cut down in that just so that we can go ahead and sell it. That's why I feed our sawmill and furniture because if we go up, go to the carpentry. They got a bit of wood, they could do some more wood soon. They use about 800 litres ish a month, let's say, let's say a thousand. So a good old seven months worth of timber left. The sawmill itself uses, what, that's six, 7200, so. Yeah, they got, yeah, they got like at least eight months left. So we've got enough timber to last until the winter period and that. But that doesn't mean we can still cut, chop trees down and sell it. Because we can still sell timber. If we have a look at wood. Went past it. So the biomass heat and plant will take it. So it will sell everything container. So, But yeah, the biomass heat and plant that is sat near. Yeah, that's next to the carpentry. So we can take it down there. I think we've still got a massive plot of land, so our tree plot by the church and that to deal with. Yeah, it's just so many different things and but I think we've quadrupled our egg production now and that's gonna make all the difference I think. But yeah, we could do with having a non swivel axle trader. It's just navigate, it's just the reversing. But then even again, what if we want to go with a semi trader? Got the pace setter. I'm just looking at volume, like we could go with the crampy. Ooh, we could go with this one. Different configurations. We can have that as a wood trader. And we can have that. Oh, it's wait for grand, but can then yeah, it is a swivel axle. How much could we get for this? Nineteen grand. So yeah, we won't be profiting, but perhaps it'll be a bit of a better looking one. Perhaps the size as well will help in that because this this is based on a truck body and truck axle so or at least the main frame is based on the truck and that. I'm not sure which truck but, but yeah you can sort of see Aussie's always been adjusted in that for obviously to be a tipper trader but still and now the last one 
I'll just put the rest of the chicken feeds in here. Go ahead, reverse up. There we go. So in front of 45,000 plus litres, we're left with 11,000 litres. Make sure everyone's got food. Yes, they have. So now what I think we'll do is, off camera, I'll start doing the rolling on the sugar beet field, just because it's dark and that. Losing a lot of light now is pretty much night time now, so... The rest of the feed, I'll store it for now in the grain mill. Not the grain mill, the silo here. We're going to take this tractor to the shop. Money will go down because we'll have to service this. Because it is quite worn, as you can see there on the bottom right. So yeah, we'll grab the roller, get the rolling done. And then next time you'll see me is tomorrow in April. Where we can plant corn in that. And then I'll just show you some clips of me rolled in corn at least. Well, mate, I think also we need to do is put this track in at some point. Cut these trees down because we haven't given permission to cut them and use them as we wish. But yeah, so we'll get all this done and I'll see you folks in the morning. And a good morning. Have you been a bit busy? We've done the rolling overnight and all that on our Shoebeat Field. Also, been busy with some logging. Got some trees here. Not sure how much we'll get. But, as well, let's find out the best place to sell them. And prices at the moment by mass. Fair enough. So that is all the way down south. So we need to go right. Hopefully we don't have any traffic issues, hopefully this doesn't tip over. There are some big chunky logs on the side and on the upper right end, so we may have some issues with it tipping a little bit. Wait a minute, what did it catch? What? I was perfectly fine with that and all of a sudden it just decides to tip over. Where is the John Deere? Well, at least our wheat is out, looking good. See, wheat or barley we're doing. Wheat, yeah, I thought so. It's a good thing I left the John Deere over here with 3, .3 tonne weight. But yeah, it just randomly clipped on something and toppled over. Ah, we're causing traffic backlogs. <laughs> Hopefully we can correct this. We should be able to. There we go. Sift you up. Yeah, it's just randomly. It's just like... There we go. We'll park it here. Yeah, that was just a weird... Yeah, it's like it's closing again. Like, what was it catching on? It's not coming forward, cars. Yeah, it's tipping over again. There we go, got it on the straight and narrow. Oh, right here really close to these cars. If I was you, I'll get out of my way. I think, I think we're going to need some road blockers, I think, to clear this traffic off, so bear with me a sec. And there we go. We've cleared the traffic off, so the traffic is blocked up to the route where we need to go. But yeah, 
this is a real janky setup so we need to sort of go past the shop down and around yeah I think not a rough idea where we want to go but yeah hopefully we should get a decent amount of money for this hopefully <laughs> just taking it steady I don't want to topple it over now Actually, we should have like a wide load sign on the back of this because it is pretty wide. But hopefully, we can clear enough trees to the point where we actually be able to plant trees. Well, at least I'd say that hopefully. I don't know for sure. There is a lot of trees about on this area, so. But yet, there's some quick body shot because we've accepted a Bane contract to make hay. Which will get all squared off, but for now, we won't worry about that. Because we need to get this down to the current tree without any catastrophes. And there will mean there will be some catastroph catastrophes at some point, but so far it is so good. So, I'll continue on here, and I'll see you at the biomassing plan. And there we go, managed to get up here without too many issues. <laughs> a few little slight tips and topsails, but tips and topsails that word. Yeah, let's go with it. Oh, did not see that crest. <laughs> oh, I could have ended badly there. See, I'm assuming we just drive up. And then, boom. We'll get our money, see how much we can get from this. So we're at 337 and all that just for 13 grand. Oh, I'm not too sure on that. Yeah, really not too sure. Expecting more, but it is what it is at the end of the day, so yeah, we'll just get on with it and go with the flow. Gets in. Yeah, did not expect that. I expected at least 20, 20, 25. Let's go down here. And we'll pick up the John Deere, which I left down here. I think. Did I? There we go. There's the John Deere. Again, we have a little tipsy moment down here so we'll go and pick up the John Deere that needs a service as well I spent eight grand overnight getting the case serviced well I'm guessing this timber will cover the repair costs at least of our equipment that's a plus I'm guessing you off. Hop into you. And now we'll take this back to the shop. Not sure exactly which way we're supposed to be going. Well, we could, yes, we could come up here. Oh, there we go. Nice little dirt path. No, it looks like a dirt path, but no ain't. Okay, I'm on case. You can do it. We need some like duels or something on this, I think, for when we return stuff and that. Help spread away in that. And all that other good stuff in yeah. Last week anyways are around 46 grand, so where do we go from here? We've got plenty of eggs being produced, we'll keep those for now and we'll just do a massive sell perhaps in the summer. But yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. We've got to get this field here, field 2, as I'm calling it. That needs to be seeded with corn. We did put 2,000 litres of seed into it in the last episode. We may have done that off camera, I think. Anyways, we'll go unstrap you.
But yeah, just thinking that getting these trees chopped down like these do see there. Three, four. Perhaps just trim, like, like cut a couple of trees on along that row. They'll have a nice dirt path up here, perhaps. But again, that's an idea for a different episode. And got all the moan stuff and that, the tethers and that. They want hay bales, apparently. Actually, I've got an idea. How much does it cost to make hay? And we're not making much hay from that, so... So I think, what, 950 litres a month we'll make. Times that by 100... 95,000, like just over 100,000 litres of hay. I think what we could do, get the grass, pick it up with a forage wagon, dump it into the system dryer from Enter. In this case, we'll be drying it. Put a bit of hay in. Not a lot it needs. It only needs, what, 5,000 litres? I'm sure we can spare that. And yeah, go for an error that. But again, that's. Yeah, that's gonna be, again, different time, different place, different date. We need to just get things cracking on here. And we still need the pathway as well. Oh, that was close. Going to another farmer's field. I think it makes sense for our next field purchase to be this field. Or like this is, or 25, not 25. No, it is 25, I think, is it? What feels it at the bottom of here? Ah, 35, so. I see, if we buy 35, then we can just merge this and make it all nice and neat. But then again, we're going to have all this like, lump here, then we're going to cut these trees down. And just go like up here a bit, close to the roads, and. Last thing also I want to do is like, plant grapes in. However, also I want to put some of these open garden greenhouses. Just because then with this we can get ask to see. What's that horn? Going in the background, not sure. But yeah, I have like a couple of these plotted down. Are we being bombed? Are we being bombed right now? <laughs> but yeah, potentially what we could do, because we own this land here, let's say clear some of these trees off and go like one, two, three, four, five, perhaps? Then again, clear a pathway to the road. Actually, we do have access. Yeah, we have access to this as well, but again, land is a bit uneven, so perhaps not the best place to put it. But and also, I want to making people syrup. But again, that's not so much money. The money issue is not an issue at the moment, it's just land. And I'm just thinking like for a vineyard and that. Like something like these, perhaps. 60 ish grand. Like field 2 there, that's good field. Field 2 is good, field 3. Actually, let's head down there a sec, let's do a bit of scouting there. And here we are with the TLX, and yeah. This area would be good for place walls of greenhouse and that, but. Would make a very good grape vineyard. Sounds up here with field two in that. Got some nice curved fields and that like sloping up. So we do have access to this, so we could just plow out. And yeah, we'll just plow out. And go from there. Just have a little explore down there. Because I haven't really been down here. Apart from the old contracts and that. Again, yeah, it's just so sloped. 
Okay, because from place falls. Try thinking where else because we go. See how much is house good for forty four pumps? I know Toby's actually going to do some farming, but just a full explore. Take the TLX out for a spin as well. Sorry. Oh, no, no, no. We need. Ah, we should crash it. Yep, it was all too good to be true and all that. Come on, correct. Good thing about having high suspension here. Get. Yeah, it's hard to get over because it's a high centre of gravity and that. Who's the hill to my vantage? There we go. Ah, uh, we may have broken the bed. Yeah, that's it in the ground, that's in the dirt. We'll come back for you later. <laughs> Yeah, uh, house field 34, because there was some relatively flattish land over here when we did the hay contract. Apart from that bit up there, of course. But yeah, it's just everything's on the slope, everything's all hilly and out. land that's so flat. Well actually this may be a natural worthy contender perhaps. Relatively flat, a bit of a slope at the end but again we can work around that. And into the tree line it is still quite flat so there's opportunities. But how much will they want for this piece of property? They want 76 grand. Expected yield potential. Not too worried about that because it's mainly going to be a, a placeable area, I think. Things where we can place greenhouses down. Perhaps have a little grass field, perhaps, but. All in all. Yeah, BGA 117 grand. Oh, that's the thing. Do we go with that? We nearly got the money for it. Let's say if we do, let's say it's going to be our little place for area and grass area. 76 free. Then get something like field 2. That's going to be 117. We're looking at 180. 100. Let's say 200 grand at most. That'd be a vineyard. And if that is our vineyard, that'd be a massive vineyard. Obviously you got these like vineyards up here and that. Like one and a half hectares, but then look at the price. A hundred grand nearly per hectare. Just an absolute rip-off. That's got extra bits we don't want. Like these fields here, we love to have these, but even something like that actually. 142 grand, yeah I know, but that actually would be a really good vineyard. Because if we go up here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's quite flat. A little bit bumpy in that. But yeah, you can imagine just planting vineyards. Just massive. Like, I think actually we'll do more olives and grapes and that, or we could do a bit of both. This is like over three hectares. And I'll try to think. I think let's say we do go down this route. Oh, let's say go with a. Here you're looking at one there. Two. 
I think, yeah, that's going to be our next plan. Convert this into an olive grove. Then we could buy field two, and that could be our grape field potentially. But again, yeah, I think we'll go away from the place where you're from now, perhaps. I should let's say until let's let's do the math here quickly. Bear with me. So yeah, done the math, and it is three hundred and thirty-six thousand eight hundred eighty quid we have to pay. I think we can get that by the end of. Actually, when is it the planting window for all this and grapes? So uh, now, so yeah, I don't think we'll get it done this year, but definitely into next year, into March and that, we'll be ready. But now, more pressing task at hand is getting the corn planted. Uh, just make sure we're seeing good. Everything seems to be good in that. We've just done a little pass. We'll just make sure everything's all good. Nothing's out of line. Can you hear the air hoses going? So that's doing something. So yeah, we're all doing good. And seeding rate should be good. Eight seeds per meter. Per cubic meter, and it will vary up to like 10, and I think it's like 12 or 14 seeds it'll use per cubic meter. But yeah, we're not using that much seed, so yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll start doing a few passes and that, and then after that, we'll get the rollers out. Rubber's doing this, and then we should be all golden, I think. But, uh, yeah, so it's 8 o'clock now, let's turn the times up, back up a little bit. Really the main thing is just to get the heads and done, make sure that's done properly. But yeah, so it's maximum 12 seeds that use per cubic metre, but... Is it actually even seeding? Yep, yeah, oh yeah, you can see the lines here. It's Ah, you can just see some of it in the tillage and that. That tree's going to be a pain. That's thing we need to invest in at some point is a stump grinder tree cutter thing. And we just smash it into a tree. Good, good. I think it's not even a tree we can cut down by ourselves. You'd think so, but nope. Absolutely butt kiss. Nope. Just gonna have to work around it then. There we go. And now, how will it cope with the lime now? Will it yeah, it changes colour now, it changes texture, so at least that part we're all good with. You can actually see where we've been, where we're going. But yeah, so anyways, we will continue on with this. This shouldn't take too long, I don't think. And then we'll get the roller out, get the fertilizer out, fertilize this field, fertilize the corn fields, not corn fields, sugar beet fields. And then yeah, we should be sitting pretty, I think.
nearly half past one in the afternoon and we are in May now so yeah as you may have seen in a bit of the time out we made a bit of money we sold the milk we did a few bean well I did one bean contract we did try to get a bit greedy of making some more silage uh, what fills it? Filled 34. I thought, yeah, be a bit sneaky in that. Didn't quite work out as well for us with that. We had some just grass bells in that, but I think with this one here, this contract at uh, field 32, we've got nine, no, sorry, ten sledge bells. 150 centimeter bells. We did have enough room for 100 in. 25 centimeter bell, but didn't change the sort of bathing setting, so unfortunately we couldn't get another bell, but we should still be able to complete the contract, hopefully, and make a bit of cash on site. So that is three grand there, plus another five. And now we're at a hundred and one grand, so we're almost there with that whole goal of having what was it three hundred thirty-six thousand for the fields and that that we want to get, plus hundred and fifty grand for the vine vineyards itself for the grape and olive groves. So actually, what we'll do, we'll go and get our returns. We did have to lease that one, that was a manual, we manually auto-loaded that trailer, if that makes sense. We manually stacked it and just auto-loaded it to clean it up. And then with the other bean contract, we forgot to get the equipment borrowed, so had to lease a bader at, well, use, yeah, was it the Class Bell Uni Wrap, I think. We did. And also, if we look at the contract situation, there we go, we'll claim our three grand for that. And also did a fertilizer contract, so we get five grand for that, plus a reimbursement of 13,600 for the fertilizer. And now we're at 124 grand. So, what I want to get done today before we run up the episode is get the fertilizing done and get the liming done. Not liming. Liquid. Not liquid fertilizing. Herbicide done. Because we've got weeds. And also, just been tying up the yard a bit, just organizing a few bits here and there. Also, our site is ready. We covered it yesterday in. April, I think we did it, or was it the month? Before? And also, just been going around grabbing all the pads we've got, including some some of the seeds and fertilizer and lime we've got. We've got a few planks. We've got the furniture all loaded up. And what we're gonna do with this next episode, we will go and sell this. Most of these can be sold at the land handle sell point up on the hill over there. Unfortunately, these planks have to be sold at the sell everything container but don't worry we can always make that journey but that is for next episode so and um, yeah we've still got the narrows on here you can tell we're destroying the crop no we're not so yeah i think what we should do first of all is the herbicide in So we've got 2,800 litres of herbicide. That's going to be plenty enough for what we need. How's our chickens doing for food knack? All good. How's the cows? They've run out of TMR. Man, they consume so much TMR. We really need to get a buckload of it and just put it into a silo. So we'll go and do that. So we want mix rations. Four. Eight. 
There we go, that's 10 grand, that's 50,000 litres, we'll get that done and loaded. So we'll do that in a bit. Cows should be fine for now, well, food for an hour or two, I think, so I'm not too worried. I was going to start making milk and all that. Sorry, we've got 20,000 litres. How much manure have we got? And have a little gander. Also got 19,000 litres. So that ain't too bad. And if we have a look here, where the weeds are. So yeah, we've got weeds all over the field up there. Got weeds up there, weeds up there. Of course, the bits we ploughed doesn't have weeds, of course. But I am just, just still going to spray everywhere, I think. Yeah, you can see the weeds there popping up. Actually, good thing we opt for the option for the sea and spray, or yeah, the sea and spray, I think it's called the option. Oh, there you can see the weeds just going away. But yeah, this shouldn't take too long. We'll get the fertilizing done. I said about we was going to do grapes and olives next year. However, if we look at the crop win window. May is the last day for grapes and olives go into June. So really, next episode, I'm thinking we just get the vineyard in. Just get a half half a mil and just yeah, let's go and get the vineyard in. Obviously, we will have to take out a loan. That should be quickly paid off, especially with the amount of eggs and that we're producing now. Especially with the planks and the furniture and that as well on the side, so... Yeah, we should make plenty of money. I don't see us having any kind of money issues of paying that off before the end of the year. And even if we don't pay off the end of the year, I think we should do, because even with the crops and that we harvest in the fall and that, so as we've got the corn, we've got the maize silage from that, we've got the wheat. Obviously some of that's going to be like chicken food I think. And the reason we do meat is because obviously we need the straw as well for the cows and that, because we want to get a forage wagon in, or forage mixer should I say. And just make TMR for ourselves, be self-sufficient. We're having to have to buy it all the time, yes we get it on the cheap but still. Yeah. Oops, really fast. <laughs> but yeah, you can see we're not using that much herbicide just because it's all computer control. It knows exactly how much to put on and where to put it down, so. And we can prove that by having a look here. See, where we've been, the weeds are dead, so. I think it's time for one more time lapse. We'll get the sea and spray herbicide done, get the frozen done, and then we'll call it a day, I think.
is all of the fertilizing done now. And now we'll grab the John Deere and we'll take this back, get it stored away. Cross into a tree as we usually do. But yeah, I am, as I said before, optimistic of where we can go from here. Really start expanding the farm now. Once we get the vineyards in great, yeah, vineyards, all the groves, all that lovely stuff. Once that's all in, then that's obviously it's going to be quite expensive to lease the equipment, like 23 grand to lease, so not cheap for when it comes to the harvesting time. But just hopefully, when we plant the grapes in this month, we still harvest it this year. We're within the window, but we're just kind of super close, so. And we'll just shove it somewhere. Yeah. We'll shove you over there. But yep, yeah, off camera, I've done the cows, they've all been fed. How are they doing for straw? I think they're okay because we topped it up. Yep, yeah, they're alright, so yeah, just a bit more straw perhaps later on. Sorry, that's becoming an issue, we need a tanker for that. But yeah, so next episode, hopefully, well, as you know, we will be spending half a minute. But yeah, I am optimistic of where we can go from here. Obviously, we can think about doing the grass, like try and move some of these bits around the edges, like here. Because we do have access to this and we have been given permission to mow this, so just get this all this mow, like all the edges. I doubt we'll have access, don't think we've got permission on the edges of the fields, but like bits over here definitely got access to, so yeah, optimistic and be interesting how much money we can make just from selling all this stuff over here and that. 19.4 But yeah, so we'll. Yeah, I think we'll take the TLX, I think. But yeah, that's all of that we've got to sell, so. But yeah, that's where we're getting into today, anyways. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But, for I choose to do, hope everyone has a nice day, but for now, just be fine with my stream, and I'll see you all very soon.